Hello everyone. So today I'm here with a microphone. I'm going to be filming a recommendation video where I recommend a bunch of things that could come in handy for a time like this where a lot of people are home bored and looking for something to do. So I'm going to be recommending my favorite podcasts, at-home workouts, my favorite YouTube channels, my favorite Netflix shows. So basically, I'm trying to help you guys stay healthy mentally and also physically because they're both very important. Um, life update though, I am actually planning to pull an all-nighter tonight. It's already 12 20 a.m. and I don't plan on sleeping because I am flying home. I really didn't plan on going home but I've made the decision to go home my parents are very worried about me being here alone so yeah have my coffee I'm not tired yet because I woke up at 1 today so hopefully I'll be able to pull this all nighter before I get into my podcast recommendations I thought it would be fitting to talk about um, care of so thank you to care of for partnering with me for this video care of is a brand that I wholeheartedly support because health has always been very important mental health and physical health I try my best to eat whole foods and try to get nutrients and you know try to be as healthy as possible but i'm also very interested in supplements care of has been helping me take my daily supplements because they come in packets and it's just really easy for me to take on the go care of makes it easy to make sure that your body is getting all the vitamins that it needs you can go to their website and take a short quiz and they'll recommend you vitamins that you could be taking that's appropriate for your goals and your needs for bone health better sleep better digestion for better health i've been taking calcium plus keratin magnesium and probiotic blend they also have these little packets mine is for better sleep so these are melatonin packets but they also have other packets and like protein powder so definitely go check them out they're also an eco-friendly uh, company you can go on their website to see how you could compost the little packets and also when you go on their website they have details on all of their vitamins and supplements that they offer you can use my link in the description box and my code to get 50 percent off your first order and yeah let's get started with my recommendations i listen to many podcasts and to be honest podcast used to be this thing where if i mentioned that i listen to podcasts a lot of people my age would be like oh you listen, you listen to podcasts like isn't that what older people listen to like it's kind of boring and you just i don't know a lot of people just weren't so into podcasts especially people my age because they thought podcasts were for listening to daily news or just to listen to boring stuff but i found podcasts that are really interesting and entertaining to me so hopefully if you have same interests you'll find these interesting as well i'm just going to go by like monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and tell you guys what i listen to on those days so on monday that's when i listen to the k-pop taebak show with eric nam i am personally a big fan of eric nam i love his music i love his personality and just everything that he has to say so it's just honestly very entertaining for me to just listen to him he talks about any like new releases he talks about new songs or they'll have like a theme for the week and they talk about songs that's fitting to the theme this podcast really got me into podcasts in the first place because before this podcast i used to listen to very um, like self-help kind of podcasts and they were more serious but this is very easy to listen to if english is not your first language this is definitely the podcast that you could start listening to podcasts and get used to listening to like english audio tuesday is when i listen to the real real by natalie barbu natalie is a lifestyle youtuber but on her podcast she interviews different people with different jobs 
And for me, it's very interesting to listen to because they're not intimidating CEO of Google. They're not like huge, huge people. They're like everyday people that you might come across. But it's just really interesting to hear about like what they do, what their job is like, um, how they got there. I would definitely check it out, especially if you're in like middle high middle school high school exploring different fields or even if you're in college i think this podcast could be very helpful wednesday i'm going to do a little self promo here because i do have a podcast it's called the aha podcast and i host this podcast with my sister jenny we named it aha because whenever we have conversations we have a lot of moments where we're like oh my gosh you're so right how come I never thought of it that way? I just think that my sister and I have really good conversations and we wanted to share it with the world. If you don't have a sister and you just kind of want that like sisterly advice, or even if you're a guy and you want to welcome to our podcast, but yeah, it's very easy to listen to because it is me speaking. So if you like my videos, you're definitely going to like our podcast. Check out AHA Podcast if you've never tuned into it before and also on Wednesday I listened to the pretty basic podcast by Alicia Marie and Remy Ashton. They're both really big YouTubers here on YouTube and I've been watching their channel forever so for me I just listen to them for their personalities and like their chemistry. They live that like full-time YouTube life in LA so it's very interesting to see what their life is like and what they go through as YouTubers. Firstly, I have three podcast recommendations. One of them is the Tablo podcast. I've always been a fan of his music. I love Epic High, I love Tablo. But this podcast, oh my gosh, like he is such a good speaker and he talks about the most random things, but he makes it super interesting and funny. So if you want something funny to listen to, I definitely recommend you to check out the Topple podcast. I wouldn't say it's the easiest to listen to if English is not your first language, but if you're more like intermediate to advanced English speaker, I recommend. Um, the second podcast for Thursday is Anything Goes by Emma Chamberlain. Ch Emma Chamberlain. Chamber Chamberlain? Oh my gosh, I can never say her last name. But she is a big YouTuber. Every episode has a topic and she just talks about it. So one of them was about fashion, one of them about one of them was about high school, one of them was about living in Los Angeles. So it's just a really relatable podcast for me at least. So I love listening to her. And then the last one is the tripod by the Try Guys. If you watch their YouTube videos or if you've watched their YouTube videos before, you know who they are. They're really funny people. So this one's also just like for entertainment and for laughs if you're into that. Those were the podcasts that I listen to on a weekly basis. But here are some podcasts that I am subscribed to, but listen like every once in a while. So one of them is the Gary V Audio Experience. This one is for people who's very interested in like business strategies. If you're into marketing, you're going to find his content very helpful. The next one is The Life Kit by NPR. Episodes that they release are pretty short. They're like 20 minutes max. So I think they're really good to listen to in the mornings. I think the most recent one they did was like how to be productive at home and like working from home tips. So that's that. And lastly, I have How I Built This by NPR. This is the podcast that interviews like very successful people, like big CEOs. So personally, I get kind of intimidated and it's just not really relatable for me to listen to. But it is interesting to listen to when they interview a CEO of a brand that I really like, like Lululemon. They also did Shopify. They did um, Casey Neistat, who's a YouTuber. So those were my favorite podcasts, and I hope you guys check them out because I always get asked what my favorite podcasts are. So those are my favorite podcasts. I realized that I never recommended my favorite at-home workouts, and I also realized that 
the audio wasn't being recorded through my microphone and the other parts so i'm so sorry you had to listen to the other audio but here i am to recommend my favorite workouts so at home instead of watching full-on youtube videos i've been going through fitness instagram pages and getting ideas and i've been making my own workout routines to do at home so i'm going to share some of my favorite fitness instagram accounts number one um blog a lotties she also has a youtube channel but on her instagram she's been posting short videos that's really easy to follow along she also posts like recipes that are really easy so i really recommend you guys check out her instagram page second one is madfit.ig she also has a youtube channel and her workouts are really really intense it doesn't look like it but they're really intense but efficient third account is olivia.polling she is a fitness trainer at a famous gym in la she's been posting a lot of at-home workouts as well and once in a while she posts like what i eat in a day posts which is really fun for me to look at as well and lastly i have callie fuller fit she usually does gym workout routines as well so when i used to go to the gym it was fun for me to get inspo from her routine because i usually don't really know what to do at the gym with all the machines and dumbbells but she also posts at home workouts and she categorizes her workouts by like abs arms back it's really easy for me to scroll through her feed and find exactly what i want for the day those are my workout recommendations and yeah bye bye I'm going to move on to my favorite YouTube channels. I'm going to mention some of the YouTubers that I watch, um, YouTubers that create similar content as me that you guys might be interested in. I personally watch more American YouTubers. So yeah, if you are trying to get into more American YouTubers, here are my recommendations. Number one, she is my favorite. Emma Chamberlain. She is hilarious. I love her style. I love her personality. And yeah, she's very entertaining to watch. Rem Life by Remy. This is her vlog channel and she has another channel where she posts more um, planned out videos, more professional videos, but I personally like watching her vlogs because she talks a lot about like healthy meals, healthy lifestyle she just has a very fun personality also alicia marie vlogs she is best friends with remy so it's very fun to see their like chemistry together in their vlogs but she's also a big youtuber living in la so it's very fun for me to watch how she lives her life in la as a youtuber michelle Choi. um i actually have two youtubers that i watched named michelle Choi. one of them lives in new york city i love new york city so it's really fun for me to watch her living in new york city and then another michelle Choi. she lives in california and she does a lot of like very calm relaxing vlogs she's a coffee lover she does a lot of like staying productive videos also so i love watching her natalie barbu she also lives in new york city she's all about that hustle life she's very productive also very into healthy lifestyle so i love watching her i have ellie thuman luca whitaker and avery ovard they're both my age so if you're like high school college their content is going to be pretty like entertaining and relatable lastly i have tatiana ringsby she covers so many things that i'm interested in so it's really fun for me to watch her she talks a lot about mental health she talks a lot about physical health she is a model she is a youtuber i love watching her vlogs and i also like watching her what i eat in a day videos okay lastly i'm going to talk about netflix I don't really like watching Netflix shows because I'm really bad at keeping up with series. I would like start a show and I would binge watch and I would never finish. I feel like I'm not the best person to be recommending things for Netflix but there are some shows that I did watch and I did enjoy. But most recently I started and finished so that's saying something about the show. This show was really good and it's called Sex Education. It was honestly like a culture shock for me but it's really fun and 
interesting like i've never seen a show like this and i personally don't really like sci-fi fantasy shows and i feel like netflix is just always releasing sci-fi fantasy shows but not really like coming of age kind of shows so this i really enjoyed because it wasn't some crazy unrealistic show next i recently watched cheer this is like a documentary series and it was really fun for me to watch because i used to be a competitive dancer and even though i wasn't a cheerleader it was still really relatable and also really interesting to see what it's like to be a competitive cheerleader and even if you're not into cheer this is totally a really really interesting show to watch next i watched miss americana taylor swift this is taylor swift's documentary if you like Taylor Swift, this is really fun. And if you're like a workaholic, this is also really fun and relatable. I've gained more respect for her by wa after watching this show. If you're bored and you just want to watch something chill, I would recommend. If you have any recommendations for a podcast, for YouTube, for Netflix, leave them in the comments below. And I will see you guys in my LA blog soon i promise because i filmed a week in my life as an intern and i never got to upload that but i will next week hopefully by the time you guys are watching this i'm home safely i'm sad that my plans don't work out and i'm sad to be leaving la but hopefully i'll be able to come back some things that we cannot control but all we can do is to learn something out of it so the lesson that I learned from this experience is that things don't work out the way I want them to but it's okay we're all okay okay I I gotta go thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys in my next video bye everyone